you know, it's it's pretty weird. Mm-hmm. And it's to the odds of, of Mayweather winning. I mean, you know how they have like <sighs> four hundred and this and that. But I was just like in layman's terms, it was probably like a six percent chance he was gonna win. Mm-hmm. And a forty percent chance he was gonna win. Like that's how <laughs> weird Vegas had the odds. It's that brainwashing. Yeah. And what what's his name? Zachary Ida. That's a tough one too. Who? Pat. He is? He has you to be. His last name is Sullivan. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> he has to be. Yeah, that's not the, the part. It ain't gonna yeah, be. Th- that's exactly how I know that that's the <laughs> item's name. But that's what happens. You let the media feed you a, a little narrative for a little while, mm-hmm. and some niggas start believing it. Are we live? Yeah, we live. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna nah, don't. Hey, this. look. Ain't no I way. don't even know if I could. You got your headphones on? Yeah, I got my headphones on. Do a little mic check. Get close to that. Mic. Uh, I hear myself. Wait, how did I do this before? Because I feel like you were closer to the mic before. This is cool, though. Let me just get my phone out of here, right? I finessed it. Oh, damn. I still got the... <laughs> I still got the volume up. That's I still it don't matter. Say. Nah, this is cool. Did you have it like that? Nah, but this is cool, though. Right. Try not to move it too much. Because for some reason, these mics be picking up everything. When you I'm do a little shirt rub, and it gets the... Yeah. I fin- nah. Should I say that? Should I be saying? Nah, I'm not gonna say what I'm about to say. <laughs> Forget Wait, it. Wait. So it had me like saying someone's name on here. No, no, no. Wait. What? We oh, could, about that. We could blank that out, right? Yeah. I'm. I don't. You didn't say nothing offensive. Man. Nah, no. But I just don't know if someone want their name mentioned on it. He don't even Whatever. listen SoundCloud, to my podcast. SoundCloud's gonna wipe this away anyway. Yeah, that's right? what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what SoundCloud does. They edit things. Um, nah, I was about to say something about that mic stand, but I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even getting into that. It's a bathroom? No, no. Well, te- yeah, technically. Um, it's about guitar? No, nah, it's not about, it's about Amazon. You're oh. right. I don't know if you know about me, but you know what? <laughs> we gonna leave that alone. Cause I'm What's not, going on, world? <laughs> yo, this guy. Yo, this the is the, mean Nah, guys. don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm here today with your... <laughs> What's going on? Nah. What's going on, world? Welcome to the Lean Mean Podcast. I'm the Lean Mean Running Machine. I'm here with. I gotta raise my vocals. I'm here with the genius Lucas. What's going, on, y'all? What's going on? It's the genius Lucas. Talk to the people real quick. I, I gotta do something real quick. All right. So in the meantime, I'm gonna keep y'all. We just actually uh, watched um, the Mayweather McGregor fight. Maybe yeah, like. Forty minutes ago, I'd say so. Money um, yeah, it, it, Joseph predicted it was gonna be um, a ten round fight. I predicted it was gonna be, um, I predicted a six round. I, I say he can knock him out in six, but he'll knock him out in eight. I was wrong. I guess Joseph was right, but um, it oddly kind of went the distance if you feel I don't know Mayweather's smart in how he feels out his opponents and then knocks them out or or you know just beats them you know with punches and and you know he land if you look at the statistics he lands much more than his opponent um but yeah we just did that um we in Shaolin in the rugged lands a Shaolin uh closer yeah okay um and yeah, we're in the studio right now doing a podcast. What is this, episode six? Episode six. Six. So I come every other week. I'm kind of like the Giants. The no San way. Francisco Giants. Is that episode six? Is this episode seven? Nah, no, no, no. It's five. I think it's five. It ain't five. I think it's five. It's man. not five. You sure? Yeah. Because the first one you did without me, the second one you did with me, the third one you did without me, the fourth one you did with me. So last week I didn't come for that podcast. So that was six. That was five. Uh huh. This is six. So I come during the even years. I'm like the San Francisco Giants when Yo, they win. Can you please stop shouting out the Giants? Though. I'm actually like the Warriors, except the Warriors nah. win. It seems like every odd year, even though they should have won three though, and they probably win next year. <laughs> nah, again, they shouldn't the have won. Kevin Durant because he has the best player in the world. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Durant's not. <laughs> yes, he is. Anyway, you saw them two so. K rankings? Nah, but I heard LeBron got like a ninety six. You're bugging. LeBron I heard he got, got like the high. Nine, he got like a 98 or a 99. What are you talking about? I heard LeBron had the highest and he, he had a 96. Nah, he had the highest, but he had, a, I think, a 99. And what did KD have? 
whatever it was lower than LeBron because he's not better than LeBron. That's nonsense. And then I saw that that anyway. And then I saw that Kawhi Leonard had a ninety eight. Am I bugging? Did I see wrong Instagram pics? I didn't see the the official thing. I've seen things on Instagram like, oh, what do you think? I yo, what's his name got? What's his name? Uh, Kawhi Leonard got a high rating, but it wasn't higher than them. Let's just put it like that. I like, saw, aside from the legends, like because they got I the saw, legends. Yeah, Kobe had a ninety eight all team rating, uh-huh. and then below it, it showed Kawhi Leonard with a ninety eight, and I was like, okay, this. This is wrong on so many levels. All, but, I, all I know is like modern players. If we just talk about modern players, LeBron got the highest joint, and then whatever. everyone else is after him. Whatever. But if LeBron has a ninety, because no one gets a hundred. If yeah. LeBron has a ninety nine, mm-hmm. and Kawhi has a ninety eight, there's something wrong. I'm be honest. I I don't know if it's because Kawhi's game is like. I don't know how to explain this. I feel like I got to be careful with this. <laughs> what, he's like a system player? Nah, he's just... I feel like, he's nice, and his, his skill is undeniable, but I feel like he's born. Like, there's something boring, boring about the way he plays. Like, he's on the Spurs. Yeah, but... You know what's dope still, about the Warriors? Is they're the nothing. they're the electrifying Spurs. No, they're not. Absolutely. No, they're not. They're number not. one in defense. They have better defense than the Spurs, except I think last year, I think they were number two. They have high defense. <clears throat> they have amazing ball movement, and they shoot better than the Spurs. And they're more athletic, and they have more star power. They're better than the Spurs. That's a fact. But they are the like fun. The they are the fun Spurs. They're really not. How are they not like the Spurs? Spurs don't make desperation moves. What's a desperation move? Well, that's not true. I can't say the Warriors. Well, no, nah, I can't say the Warriors made a desperation move. The Warriors did what they, the Warriors did what they supposed to do. Like every team does, should do what they supposed to do. You go out to get the best player, or you go out to at least get the player you and think you is going to help you, you win. You applaud the team for doing it, but you demonize the player for doing it. No, well, we already know the circumstances on why I don't like with Kevin Durant. Why I don't like. What he did Okay I don't applaud No listen If you If you're the GM Of a team You obviously gotta Like you're not If you're the GM And you're looking for the Whack players You're not doing your job right So they doing what they're supposed to So you're looking for the best players right I said that So what are the players doing Can they look for the best teams Well well, obviously But again You're trying to I see what you're trying to You're trying to Nah I'm Nah cause this it's not about thing. looking for the best team. It's about you lost to a team after being up 3-1, and then you join that team right after. When we all know, and what sh- honestly, what should have happened? Like, what really should, th- what should have happened was Where should the he Thunder- have signed? No, no, no. What should have happened that year was the Thunder should have beat the, the Warriors, won. went to the finals, and then took the out of LeBron, because that's exactly they what would have happened. Took it out. The Thunder would have beat the Cavs? The Thunder would have beaten the Warriors. I don't care. Would the Thunder have beat the Cavs? I think really? so. <laughs> nah, you see, I, I don't do. know if you trolling. I nah, don't know if you I'm trolling not. if you being serious. Nah, I'm not. I don't know where this is going. I'm not. I think it goes probably game seven or something. Aaron, it don't go game seven. It, it really Yo, doesn't. A team- Russell Westbrook is, is, <laughs> it would have been the death. Of 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 KD the way he has always been the death of KD he wasn't in the, death the playoffs of, he wasn't the death of KD when when they were playing the Warriors and the Warriors came back and won he was still being as as mm. ridiculous as he plays as amazing as he plays anyway my my thing yeah, what I'm I saying forgot. is I'm trying the original me. point is when you take the Spurs who also went after Gasol who also went after Aldridge Not these the are guys. Place. Yeah, but still, and like you said, it's it's the smart thing to go after the best players. Mm-hmm. So when you look at, it's about they get talent and they work with it and they have great coaching, uh huh, and 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 just great fundamentals and and stuff like that. When you look at the Warriors, mm-hmm. they are the fun Spurs. They are the Spurs on steroids, but they're fun to watch. They shoot better. They shoot a little more threes than them. They move the ball. They play defense like they have the best defensive player. Who who are the two who who are the t- two players that have been going back and forth on who should win it, who's winning it? It's Kawhi on the Spurs and Draymond Green. 
They are uh-huh. the fun, more successful right now. Spurs. I look. You like to watch them because you like them. I even like watching I'm the Spurs. Biased. I don't like watching the Warriors at all because I just hate that team. So, but it's, I, it's hard for me. I, I never deny their skill. Mm-hmm. Their skills, and they they're the best. But I don't like watching them because I don't. This son of you know how I feel about the way they. I just I don't like it. It's so like. It's like when you play, you know what it's like. It's like when you playing more when you playing somebody in Mortal Kombat, and I you know. I, <laughs> I'm trying. Let me make sure I remember. Go back to McGregor because I didn't get enough comments on that. But um, it's like when you're playing somebody in Mortal Kombat, and you get them in the corner, and you keep doing the leg sweep, and they just can't get up. That's what it feels like. Watch. <laughs> that's like that's what it feels like when I watch the boys play basketball. It's this guy got the ball. Everybody runs in. Oh, let's throw it over there. Oh, let's throw it over there. Three pointer. But oh, that, let's throw it over there. That's the up oh, three point. I it just uh, listen. That's it's not just really me doing personally. The I don't, same move. That's a great basketball. That's move. It is doing Yo, the same move. Yo, when I'm playing basketball with like amateurs or whatever, mm-hmm. um, I like ball movement. I don't like one on one. I'm gonna take you to the rim. Everyone get out the way. I'm gonna keep doing the same. That to me is the leg tripping. I don't. I don't. When we talk about like the dude who plays Mortal Kombat and memorized all the moves and the move list. That is what the Warriors are. They do things that, like, they, they don't only shoot threes. They, Bro, that's they, they, damn near all they do. Well, that's their bread and butter, but they also, like, the alley-oops from Draymond. Like, and you're talking about, like, a small forward slash power forward throwing it to a center who just flies up in the air and gets it. This it's funny that we hate the Yankees for having bomb squads, but now we like the Warriors. You never hate the Yankees. I don't, but you did. But you hate hope, the Warriors, though. But but why do we hate the Yankees? And let me th- you know and why I've you, always hated the Yankees. Besides well, the fact that I have a lot of stuff. Behind yeah, that. but the uh-huh. reason why a lot of niggas hate them is because there's no cap in baseball. So and? when you're the let me finish. Uh-huh. So when you are the richest team, you have an advantage over every other team. Okay. In basketball, there's limits to everything. There's a, there's a number where no matter if you're the poorest team, if you're the Charlotte Hornets, or what's that other team that has, like, all the records aren't even broken, the Grizzlies or whatever, uh-huh. or the, the Nets or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I think the Nets are still one of the more valuable teams. It doesn't matter. You can't – there's a certain limit that you can't buy. You can't spend. Mm-hmm. And in baseball, and you're talking about over 100 years of them doing this, there's no limit of that. Okay. So when you have the richest team and and one of the oldest teams, if not the oldest, I don't know if they were one of the first they four probably, or eight I, teams I or whatever. They probably one of the oldest. Go ahead. Just buying everyone. They're in the market of New York, so it's it's just unfair. Like it's set up for them to be that way. Okay. And even to this day, there's still no there's no salary cap in baseball, so they can go out and buy whoever they want. And I know, oh, it's it's good, it's good because that's their job. It's supposed to do that. But there's a big difference in when you have people doing that and it's like yeah i can do it because i can do it versus when a kevin durant or a lebron james or even a tom brady takes pay cuts pay cut there's like a consequence at least for the player so they can get good teammates around them with the yankees they don't gotta they don't gotta cut nothing they'll pay anybody anything teammates are getting paid Cause top dollar because they've worked to build that legacy where they can but it's not an even they- it's not an even playing field Basketball is an absolute even playing field. What I'm saying is in bat. Okay, wait, wait. In it's bat, a salary cap. There, it, there is a salary cap, but it don't matter that the Knicks are the richest team because niggas don't want to play with the Knicks. Right. It's oh. still even though. It's still even. There's no team out there. The Knicks, even with their what you know top value, one of the top values can't buy more than what the Hornets can buy or what the Pelicans can the buy. The player has to want to come there. So what? And eat in any sport. The Yankees just have 27 rings. And, That's not... And they have 27 rings, and they're also just historically on another level, so everyone wants to play for the Yankees. Even when the Yankees suck, they win. It don't matter. They still going to get... This always going to be... You realize that when the Yankees don't make the playoffs, for some reason, somebody good signs with them because they don't care. They know it's the Yankees, and at some point, they 
some point they're going to get some kind of pot. Something's going to happen where the Yankees are going to become credible again. Well, that's kind of like the Lakers. But the thing with the Lakers is the Lakers still got to watch who they spend money on because it is a cap. Yankees are unfair. They can buy whoever they want for a, That's not fair. That to me is fair. That's fair that there's a team out there that can buy something that another team can't buy by rules. There's, there's no rule that that's not fair. But this is what I'm saying. Players still have options. The Yankee when when the Yankees got a rod, we ain't force a rod to come to the Yankees. Okay. The Red Sox were in the hunt and the Mets were in the hunt. And you know what happened? He he came to the Yankees because the Yankees are legit and they're and they're the greatest team ever. That's why he came to the Yankees. And the Yankees could, didn't offer him more money than everyone else. Oh, they did, but the Red Sox or okay. the Red Sox offer was close. And what what I'm saying and what I'm talking about in basket, uh, sorry, in baseball, you also get draft picks. So if you, you suck, you get draft picks. Exactly. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Draymond Green are all draft picks. None of them dudes came from anywhere else. So. The Warriors did great things with their draft picks. They okay. signed nobody, and now what are the Warriors worth? Not forever. Now the Warriors are going to be looked at as uh, a, <laughs> so a, a team that's like. So you hey. kind of proved my point. The Warriors built their team. The Yankees bought their team. There's a big difference in There's someone a lot. wanting to hate a team because they can unfairly go out. And buy anyone Now I don't want to say unfair Because if there's no rule Then that makes it fair But right? the Yankees also had Homegrown ta- and, and they had a lot of homegrown Ooh. Jorge Posada Homegrown Derek Jeter Homegrown Mariano Homegrown Andy Pettit Homegrown Now they the, the, the big guys that they had That they paid for Roger Clemens No doubt um, T- Tino Martinez I guess um, Reggie Jackson Oh, oh, we going back. Okay, well, I'm talking about the Yankees I watched, but all right, Reggie Jackson, um, Jason Giambi, yeah. Johnny even Damon. though did they did they win? Yeah, but Johnny Damon at that point wasn't that John. You you know what I'm saying? Like Johnny Damon was a solid player, but he wasn't that crazy player. These niggas just signed Kevin Durant. That's not the Yankees have net. If if there's any A-Rod. equivalent, yeah, exactly. A Rod would be the equivalent. Of that Kevin Durant, of that Kevin Durant signing. Aside from that, I mean, Teixeira, that that year in 09 when they won the World Series, that's probably the most like splurging rich year I've ever seen from the Yankees because they signed CC, uh, Teixeira, they signed, um, um, uh, A- AJ, CC, Teixeira, um, and some Johnny Damon. They just they just went off. Once they once they made those signs, I'm not even gonna lie, I had a feeling they were gonna win that year. But um to me, if there ain't no rule to it, if if that's if that's the way you, you can play. So I, I agree. You can't say it's unfair, but it's unequal. That's that's the truth. It's unequal. The yeah, Warriors but, let me tell you something. There are teams that this this people that the Yankees ah, not the Yankees, that even the Knicks would want to get and they can't get it. There's people that want to play for New York. That's a real thing. There's oh, yeah? People, absolutely. Stoudemire, for some reason, wanted to play it. People like playing in New York. You don't think that $100 million had anything to do with it? It did have something to do with it. But my point is, is there's people who just like being in New York. Derek Rose said he wanted to retire in New York. Did he not? He said that. I don't even remember. But okay, I believe you. I believe you. Oh. Carmelo Anthony said he wanted to retire in New York. Porzingis said he wants to stay in New York forever. These are things but they people. All say that. Yeah, uh, not everyone says that about Cleveland. Not everyone says that about the Clippers, the Lakers. People don't say that. Maybe the Lakers, but people don't always say that. What I'm saying is, there are people that the Knicks that would join the Knicks, but other teams offer them more money, or other teams can their own team can offer them the most money if they're coming off, if they're gonna you know resign a five year or whatever. But besides that, um. The Knicks just don't... They just can't buy everyone. If the Knicks had open cap space, LeBron will be on the Knicks. I bet you. you he probably would, but that has to do with... I think that has to do with Carmelo being there. And you're going to have to show me some players who genuinely want to play for the Knicks. Uh, I, 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 I don't LeBron know goes. one player who who would ever sacrifice their life to play, to play for the New York Knicks. Again, teams are bad because they can't buy everyone. When you can buy it, when you're allowed to buy everyone, 
If the Knicks, being one of the wealthiest teams in basketball, could buy anyone, the Knicks wouldn't be the Knicks. I'll could the Knicks, the Knicks, could have did something with LeBron that that year when he was when he did the decision. They could have gave him a little something. A little, yeah. Keyword, a little something. But we had just given how much money to Stoudemire? A lot of 105 money. 105 for five years? Mm-hmm. That's That sounds like nothing now to, to the listeners. Cause yeah. People That's... are getting like $30 million a year and $40 million, you know. Yeah. But $20 mil, 20, $22 million a year, was that's that was money. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Um I'm trying to remember how we even got <laughs> yo. Because I told you that uh, we, I said Kawhi, you said Kawhi Leonard is boring. He is boring. Oh, you I said that. I don't know how he got a 98. Yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah, that's that's right. Let me just give you that real quick. LeBron got a 98. Okay. Wait. Let me move this phone because it's making that static sound. LeBron got a 98. No, sorry. LeBron got a 97. I told I knew he had like a ninety six. Yeah, but everyone is below number. him. That's my that's my. Point. So what are the other numbers? Um, I, I didn't get an actual list. So if he got numbers. a ninety seven, there's no way what I saw was real. So Kawhi Leonard didn't get a ninety eight. There's no way in how Kawhi Leonard's getting a ninety eight and LeBron's getting a ninety seven after this after last year, maybe in the future. He's just boring, man. Ninety seven. Okay, LeBron ninety seven, KD ninety six, Kawhi ninety five, Curry ninety four, Paul. You already know how I feel about Paul George. 91, Carl Anthony, 91, Mm. Giannis, 91, Kyrie, 90. Giannis, 91? Yeah. Wow. John Wall, 90, Isaiah Thomas, 89. Wait, John Wall isn't better than Kyrie Irving? No, he's not. I'm not yes, gonna, he is. That's I'm not, not even going to go close. into this. Let's go That's into the next time. That's not even close. That's not even We're not doing this. No, no. Does, does Kyrie Irving play D? Oh my God! So now John Wall's a defensive specialist. No, John Wall scores more than Kyrie and plays better. Deep. Like this, everything he does, John, he does everything better you know, than Kyrie. And you know what he does? And and now you you see you gonna make and you me know move what? for this. You gonna actually can I tell you one? go ahead? What I'm gonna make you move for Kyrie? You, you gonna make me? You don't move like for Kyrie, Kyrie no more? No, no, I like him as. I mean, his talent is unbelievable, and I I love his talent. I'm a little skeptical about all that stuff that went down in Cleveland. But he wants to be the man. Yeah. yeah. Well, but you know what's going to happen? He to be the man on the team. And, but you know what's going to happen what? now? I, like I said, you're going to make me root for Kyrie. Kyrie was averaging how many points? 24, something like 20, that? 25. 25. Let's see what he does next season. You think he's going to do more or less? Absolutely, he's going to do more. Where he's the guy who scores. Because you know I like Gordon Hayward. <laughs> like You know that. I don't know why. But, but Gordon Hayward is not no 25-point guy. He's he's just now he, he entering up, his 20s. He 20. put up 25. This yeah. past season? 24 or 25, yeah. But he just did that. That's my point. Ky- uh, Gordon both Hayward. Both these guys is, are getting better. They they both are getting better, but this guy this guy um Kyrie Irving's gonna do something crazy. I'm I'm telling you, he's gonna do Isaiah Thomas numbers. You know on funny the is on the Celtics. He's he's better than Gordon Hayward. Excuse me. I believe he's better than Gordon Hayward, but he's still gonna be um he's still gonna be Robin. But the interesting thing is, I think the thought. Trust me, the way the Celtics are built, Celtics white team. Trust me, and not not only that, he's just bigger. He's bigger. He's like the he's the guy you build your team around. Kyrie's not gonna be there long. Gordon Hayward signed with them. Kyrie's getting traded. So they, this no, you build around Gordon Hayward. You don't build around Kyrie. Kyrie's a project that ain't gonna be there long. And besides that, well, that's true. But so, that don't mean he's gonna be robbing Aaron. No, I'm saying. Well, okay. So can I tell you something? Skill wise, Durant is Batman. Westbrook is Robin. Right or wrong? Right. Oh, yeah. But that team was building around Westbrook. So, in a weird way, Kevin Durant was robbing. In a weird way. Are you saying, wait, when were they building around Westbrook? That's kind of why he left. I mean, besides a lot of reasons why. One, he wanted to win. Two, I don't think he really wanted to play with Westbrook. But there was also, like, uh, things of him saying, like, he, he stated frustration with them, like, building the whole team and the whole future around Westbrook, as opposed to what he wanted to do, I don't know if you've ever heard that. I haven't. I understand one hundred percent why KD left. But, I've been telling you about that KD should have left that team a right. long time ago. But what I'm saying is, they're gonna build that team around the guy who's gonna be there for a while, the guy who wants to be there, which is Gordon Hayward. So it's gonna be about him 
but Kyrie is going to be better than him, the same way Durant was better than him. He is, and he's living in Kyrie's shadow because nobody, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't even think anybody cares right now. I don't even know if anyone remembers that Gordon Hayward signed a contract with them. Kyrie Irving is the talk of the town because Kyrie Irving is big time, and Gordon Hayward, as much as I like him, is not big time. He's he's good. He's pretty good. Yeah, That's the yeah. most I'm giving him. My, but again, like I'm saying, it's going to be a thing where... What are you going to build around Westbrook. him? I get what you're right. saying. I but I think mean. the fact that Kyrie knows he's better than Gordon Hayward and almost everyone thinks that, that does him better. Even if he's playing second fiddle, which he will be, to Gordon Hayward, I think it's just enough that he knows he's better. He knows he ain't better than LeBron. I think that's something that gets to him. Not only does that team build around LeBron, mm-hmm. but he's not better than him. Yeah. that This team can build around Gordon, but he knows he's better than Gordon. I think it does something psychologically for him, ego-wise. Okay. I now, think. And it's funny that we're talking about this, because this is one of the topics. Who won the trade? Who with the trade as it is right now? And anyway, however you want to look at it. Um, it's weird because they, they kind of both won. I think um, who won more? <laughs> I know that don't make sense, but who won more? Who got the better deal? Who got the better deal? I'd say the Celtics. How? Celtics got a better point guard. I don't care. I don't it care. He is a better. He is better. Yeah. Than What's Thomas. his name? Average twenty eight last year. He's amazing, Isaiah Thomas. But I mean, Isaiah Thomas was the guy on the team. He ain't have LeBron on his team. Kyrie put up twenty five with LeBron on his team. So, so you don't think Isaiah is gonna put up twenty five? No, I'm saying Isaiah's not gonna put up twenty eight or twenty nine. What he did last year, he ain't doing that with LeBron. That's no hell. No, he ain't doing that. But do you think he's gonna average like twenty four, twenty five? Absolutely. So he's gonna pretty much do what Kyrie did, right? But we know he's not better than Kyrie in any way. In, in we any we way. know that, but what after what Isaiah Thomas did in these playoffs? I don't know if you remember like how he was actually playing this year in the playoffs. Yeah, no. His high I mean, especially like you could go watch his highlights on online. He was like this man looked like he was trying to get this like he was trying to put that team on his back. Yeah. Mind you, all of this while his sister had just died. This yeah. man is gonna be this man is gonna do what Kyrie did. And not only that, the Cavs got Jay Crowder. They got Ante, whatever that dude's name. I forgot his last name. Some center or something like that. Ante something. Z- Z- something, something, yeah. We Z- know. <laughs> European, right? Some European. And they got the Nets pick next year. Yeah, but LeBron's not going to be there next year, so that's irrelevant. But we don't know. We, LeBron ain't going to be there next year. I hear what you're saying, but they still the Nets are trash. So we already know that the Nets' first round pick is going to be high. But I'm looking at like this year, <clears throat> who got the better deal? You got Kyrie. And all they got is a point years. guard. They got a great point guard, and the Cavs got a great point guard. Two, I mean, well, I don't know about that Ante guy. I'm not gonna speak for him. A solid player, off the bat, you know, uh, a Jay solid. Crowder's best, good, yeah, no, for real, pretty solid player. They got a draft pick next year, which we know is gonna be high because the Nets are trash. I mean, and and, and they got, I mean, this don't got nothing to do with the trade, but and they got Derrick Rose off the bench. The Celtics got Kyrie Irving, Gordon Hayward, Al Horford, three three good players, and they got the rookie Jason Tatum, and they got a rookie. And now and he, he was a top three rookie, wasn't he? Not he he might have been, but yeah. unless he's gonna Aaron judge it, we then we don't know what he's gonna do. Now the rookie. now the rest of the team, we going all right. Who who they got? They still got Marcus Smart. Okay, that that that's true. I'd have to go down there. They got Jalen Brown. Uh, are any of these guys Jalen Brown? That you ball. worrying about? So you wait. Right, do so you think? Marcus do you Smart. think the Celtics can go go into the finals? Right, this is LeBron. Nah, okay, nah, that's that. Smart. LeBron is that's such an enough. X factor. Like, let me tell you something. Mm. LeBron ain't playing. And let, let's say you take LeBron off and then you take the best player on the Celtics off, which is Kyrie, right? Mm-hmm. The Celtics will beat him. I I wouldn't argue that. LeBron is so great that that's the one thing you have to worry about. I mean, in the East. In the East. Yeah. I 
I, I told you, I think it, it, it's going to be, if they can both stay healthy, which I hope they both do, because mm-hmm. as a basketball fan, I want to see that. If they can both stay healthy and if they could beat everyone, yeah, I, I'm assuming they're going to be one and two in terms of the um, seeding. If they could beat everyone that comes their way and then they face off in the Eastern Conference Finals, That that's going to game seven. It's not. It is. It is the Celtics are gonna get out of there. I can in see five games. Hell no, hell no. Hey, I tell you this much. This on paper I tell you this too much. M- nah, I tell you this much. Mm-hmm. Game opening game when they play, Cavaliers mm-hmm. are winning that game. They are. They're that, gonna humiliate. Someone was them. telling me the South. Nah, they ain't gonna wash. They gonna no, no no. I didn't say wash, but they gonna humiliate them. You know what I want? What's I the want humiliation. You know, then? Nah, it's just gonna be like it's gonna. I think it's gonna be one of them chippy games. Like you know, remember when KD and Russell West, when Russell was like, "I'm coming, I'm coming." Remember when he was screaming that? And he got washed. Yeah, but it he was, got washed after that. I, I didn't say who's gonna get washed. I said the Celtics are gonna lose. I just said it's gonna be chippy and and embarrassing. The Cel- yeah, and the and the Cavs are Eastern Conference champions. The Celtics haven't won anything since 2008. My thing is, they gonna lose that game, and what? It's gonna happen. It's gonna be one of them chippy games. And what I really, I'm, and now I'm gonna say what I want to happen. You know that block, that LeBron on Steph Curry block. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. I want Kyrie Irving to go up, and I want Le, like, I want LeBron to like pop the basketball. Like I want them to have to bring in a new basketball. Can I tell you something? I want him to like. I want Kyrie to be like, yo, I got this. And LeBron would just come out of nowhere and just, <clears throat> like, yo, just literally, like, just... Remember that Chris Stapps block from last season when he just he ripped the ball from it, a nigga's yeah. hand? That's what I want to happen. And I, yo, like, I really want that to happen. I, on the same note, you might see... If you see if you see LeBron guarding Kyrie, that might not look too pretty. I'll tell you that much. Who's guarding LeBron? Kyrie, Nobody. Well, Kyrie can't guard him. You say can? Cannot. He's too small. You don't put a point guard on LeBron. No point guard guards LeBron unless it's a switch. They you got to help put, after that. They got to put Gordon on LeBron, nah, and that's going to look sad. They ain't sad. putting Gordon on LeBron. They're going to put Marcus Smart or something And else. The st- Aaron, my point is they're going to eat. They're going to eat. They gonna, I'm giving you a prediction right now. They're going to beat the Celtics by 13 points. They're going to beat them by 13 or more. I'm not going in 13 or more. Go uh, ahead. Um, I'm my bad. I, I felt nah, like I cut you off. No, nah, you didn't. Um, no, I'm just saying. I hope so, though. K- the, Kyrie might put some highlights of LeBron up this year. That's fair. That's he, cute. Ky- man, Kyrie does it to everyone. And, and, he does? And, and niggas do it to LeBron. So if other people can do it to LeBron, of course Kyrie Wait, can. Wait, what, what, what they do to LeBron? You never seen no one just put LeBron on a highlight reel? Yeah, but that ain't that I don't, common now. Like we we ain't gonna John, act like he's John the Sean Wall Bradley. Has, no, no. But John Wall has done it. Curry's done it. KD has done it. Why can't Kyrie do it? Kyrie has played against LeBron a couple times. What like three, he three can. Years. I'm like that's I, all I'm saying. This, and them important chippy games. Even though I don't think it's gonna be embarrassing. That Westbrook game was embarrassing because they got what like. There was only one game where it was almost close, and I can't remember which one it was, but it wasn't that one. They got washed. Like, that's embarrassing to me. Kyrie and them ain't getting embarrassed. Are they going to lose that first game? I, I I really do see it. Someone was telling me mm. the Celtics were going to win because the Celtics won the trade. Nah, like, cut it out. You, you're talking about LeBron, and you're talking about the Celtics got to, like, figure out how to play with each other and all that. Like, nah. LeBron's going to win that one. I agree, and I hope. I hope that what I I want to see happens. I'd love it to go to overtime. Just nah, I don't want no overtime. Well, yeah, you got a dog in the fight, but <laughs> yeah, my I want LeBron. I want humiliation. That's what I want. I want. I want LeBron. Oh, man, I can't. I'm not even gonna get into. You it. want LeBron to walk to have Kyrie walk off the court the way LeBron walked off the court in the finals? Yeah, several years ago. Nah, this past yeah. When he told, didn't he tell Kyrie, or didn't Kyrie tell him, yo, we'll be back? Who said we'll be back? Wait, we'll be back where? What this year, me? when the Warriors washed him, they were like in the back, and it was like, we'll be back. Some One of them told, the other, if, Ky, if it was Kyrie who told him that, that's, that's funny. But I, I think it was LeBron who was like, hold, like tapping him, like, 
We'll be back next year. You you don't remember that? I don't, cause I left to the gym. Are you? Ne- I'm assuming you never watched. The I ain't watched nothing after that. Yeah, he taps him. He's like, yo, what, he they hug each other. And he goes, we'll be back. Who says we'll be back? I think LeBron said it. Cause if Kyrie said it, it'll be like the biggest hypocrisy. Yeah, if LeBron said it, it's true. LeBron's always going to the finals. Kyrie ain't. Alright. Kyrie ain't yo. Kyrie ain't never seen the finals. We got <laughs> sign off. Kyrie ain't, ain't never seen the finals unless he goes back to Cleveland. <laughs> that's that's a fact. We got until, no matter of fact until the nope until yeah. He might go to he might go to the Warriors. Did you hear about that? Before I'm sorry. Before we go for the for the trade for Clay. Anyway, that yeah that. Why are you shaking your head like that? Nah, the Cavs, man. Like, what's good with y'all? Man? You think they should have did it? No, like, well. That's not a bad trade at all. But Hell no. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, the fact that y'all actually tried that, like, not the Warriors, because it was the Cavs, that, I think, that caused yeah, the war. Yeah. Y'all niggas are pathetic. Yo, I'm sorry. That, that's pathetic. It's a business, man. That's that's pathetic. It's and not about who beat who last and who, who it ain't it about to, that. Who it's, washed it. It's about, yo, we trying to get the best deal. This guy don't want to be here. Let's get one of the best two-way players in the game. On that's, our team for this guy who don't even want to be here. That's a great deal for the Cavs. That's pathetic. Klay Thompson don't even show up in the finals, so that's even stupider. Yes, um, he does. Absolutely not. Oh, you don't. Absolutely pay t- so you watch not. offense and you don't pay attention to defense. Oh, okay. Okay. So then. he played. Wait, wait, wait. Moving on. So wait, wait. So in the regular season, he's a great offensive player, all star, all around player. He's a great defensive player all year. And then and he the, faces Kyrie Irving I, and neutralize him. He faces No, I said that's not what I said. I said in the regular season, he's a great all around player. He plays great offense, plays great defense. Then we get to the playoffs. Had, or, or rather, not even the playoffs. I'm talking about the finals. He had a horrible shooting slump in the first two games. After mm-hmm. that, he what did he fire. do that? What did he do last year in the finals? He put nothing. Nothing in the finals? Off. Now nah, we gotta go look for stuff. I don't feel like arguing about this. And all I'm saying is, you gotta show up. That means offense and defense. You can't just play great defense and slack on all. That's Aaron. That's like if LeBron plays great defense and averages thirteen shots points. Two totally different things. Aaron, if you're if you're an all star, the ball, he's not even the, the he's not even the second not, best player on the team. If he's LeBron not, is is messing up, put, putting not, up thirteen points per game. I'm sorry, you're the best player. The ball is always in your hand. That's unacceptable. He's not the best player on the team, but in the regular season, he's one of the best players on the team. Compare he's, him to Kevin Love. That's he's how you still, do it. but he's still. Yeah, Kevin Love don't show up either. I don't give Kevin Love a pass. This dude don't show up in the finals. He, I'm looking right now. He played 17 games. All right, the in the playoffs he averaged 15 points. That's the whole playoffs. So I don't even know what he averaged in the finals. Well, he didn't Don't play this, good the man. whole playoffs this year. That, what did he do last year? Read that. Yeah, in the playoffs, I'm talk. I said the finals. I started with the finals because this ain't giving me what he did in the NBA finals. All I'm saying is, you got it. He don't show up in the finals, and Kyrie Irving has played in one full, well, two full finals this year. He he is another one. He didn't really show up in the finals this year, but he showed up last year. I don't get this. He didn't show up. He didn't show up in the first two. Both of them didn't show up in the first two games. What did Kyrie Irving do in this? All right, so now in the going, third and fourth, look it up. All right, no, look I'm, up what I'm he going did. right now. I'm going to averages. That's what I want. No, I look at what he did in game four when the Cavs had that ridiculous game. Also, look at what he did in game three when the Cavs were supposed so to now win we, and choked. So now we're going on certain games. We were arguing about Shaq. And no, but you're talking about they didn't show up in the final. We're talking about first two games. No, that I'm counts just, as the finals. This five games in the finals. Well, I was, I'm when I say the finals, I mean literally like the the uh, whole um the whole series. So and if I a, show up three games out of five, I didn't show up. Put it this way: if you show, all right. So let me. No, and we're only talking about can. offense. You can. So I show up every game on defense because uh-huh. Kyrie ain't scoring the first two games. Where's Kyrie? Uh huh. And Go then, ahead. and and then the other three games, I show up. Still defensively, but then I show up offensively, and that don't count. What I'm saying is this. Let's say we play a five-game series, right? Mm. I'm sorry, a seven-game series. Um, No, five-game series. And you show up, in them five games, you show up three times. Let's say you play... Offensively. Oh, oh, how, however, let's just say in three of them games, you, great, you play great defense and great offense, right? 
But then them other two games, your meltdown is crazy. I don't want to hear nothing well, about them a, games. That's not a meltdown. If you no, I'm not shots. saying he. I'm not saying he melted down. What I'm, but what I'm saying is you have to be consistently good. That's like Aaron. You can if you if you if you're in the NFL, if you're a quarterback and you make the playoffs, right? And your first playoff game, you throw three touchdowns, no interceptions, and then your second playoff games, you go two touchdowns, no interceptions. And then you make the Super Bowl and you throw one touchdown or two touchdowns and two interceptions. It's like, yo, you the best player. You support. I'm not, and I'm not saying Kyrie's the best player because we know that he's not the best player. But you also got to do like the, we can admire what you've done great. But then there were games where I mean, like I'm watching Kyrie Irving taking these crazy shots, not like not just like. You know, not just like oh, it was a deep three. I'm talking about like, like these layups where he's doing all this extra stuff, and it's like you don't got to do that or that that step back three that he tried to take to like win the game. Like I feel like, I feel like he had the old finals in his hand. He was like, you know, I'm about to do this again. But any you other day, that. Kyrie makes that shot. Okay, he misses it, and that's that. That's not a melt. That's just missing shot. That's not not showing up. That's just miss. Shots get missed. LeBron could have tied the game. Iguodala smacks it out of his hand, and it rolls into LeBron's hand, leg, and LeBron is out of bounds. And then mm. the Warriors easily take the rest of that game. That's game three. I, I know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is, is Clay Thompson been semi-quiet in the playoffs? He was the first two games this year. Absolutely, he was. But the but so you said, like, the rest of the finals, he wasn't. Absolutely. Yep. So he was not. He, the rest he, of the he wasn't. He no. was regular season Clay Thompson. Yes. Not. In the I mean, playoffs. In the playoffs, he wasn't good. In the first two finals games, he also wasn't good. The rest of the finals, yes, he was. And again, we're only speaking in terms of mm-hmm. offense. And I'm saying I've seen Kyrie Irving. Mm-hmm. Well, if I'm if I'm going off not this pat well this past season he showed up in in the playoffs. But especially if I'm going to go off of last year in the playoffs, that dude consistently showed up. And then on top of that, he showed in up. the finals, I mean, was on another level. I'm going to just look at that, and I'm going to say, I, think, I wonder Clay Thompson ever do that. I hear what you're saying. I think you have more of a case for him because he doesn't play defense. What do you mean? Like, you have more in terms of someone not showing up. To me, that means defense and offense. You have more of a case for Kyrie because – he didn't show like he don't really play defense. So if Kyrie puts up 16 points in a game, that's not showing up. Cuz one his defense ain't really there, and two, 16 points, which is what he did I think the first and second game roughly. The next third game, I think he put up 27. He showed up. No, I know. I that's what I'm saying like he didn't show up can, the first two games. Someone could make the argument it's a good trade, but I'm also someone I see a dude who put the team on his back, who hit the game winning shot. I'm more inclined and did this in his first finals. I'm more inclined to keep that guy, but I don't know. Some some other people got their mind somewhere else. Um, we gotta save the Conor McGregor. See, because you spoke about Conor McG- uh, the Mayweather Conor McGregor fight already while I was um briefly yeah messing with the fridge. But I'm I'm gonna save that f- uh, for later. Right now, I want to ask. I want to ask you a, a question. I didn't. I didn't ask you this ahead of time because I want you to actually think about this one. Mm-hmm. Can you open that for me? Mm-hmm. Hold up. Um, if you could, if there are three past sports champions that you rooted for that you can take back, who would they be? The Patriots easily. So Patriots at any point, or oh, you talking about when they played oh, the Panthers? I, I don't remember what it was. It was it was before oh, the it was both way before they played the Giants. It was way before they oh, played yeah. the Giants. Don't ever think I rooted for the Patriots during <laughs> or after the Giants. Um, whenever I rooted for Tom Brady that one time, I don't know if it was once or twice. It was definitely one time. I'd take that back. I would take back. Um, hmm. Any sport? and No, any three champions. They don't got to be football. Any three champions. So it's... 
Is that one? It's uh, when I rooted for the Boston against the Lakers in 2008. Okay. And it was, I also take back, there's nothing in baseball I would take back. Um, I wouldn't take back the Royals versus whoever they beat that year. Because the next year they, they beat the Mets. Well, they lost that year. And then they, they beat lost, the Mets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, no, I wouldn't even take that back anyway. And even if they did win, I wouldn't take it back. Um, the third team. Damn. I don't think baseball would be it. I'm trying to think about football. You know, the Mets, mate. Yo, I'm telling you, every now and again, when the Mets come up, I really be thinking, like, yo, the Mets made the World Series, like, in the past two years. Yeah, let's move on, though. Let's stick to the topic. <laughs> yo. Um, that's hard for me to, like, come to grips with. Not in a hate. I'm not a hater. I like the. I like them. I'm a Yankee fan, but I, I root for the Mets, you know, when the Yankees ain't in it. But, my God, like, anyway, I'm going to go ahead. So, you said the Celtics and the Lakers. You would root for the you would root for the Lakers. I if you would root could. for the Lakers. I would root for whoever was playing the Patriots if it was Satan himself. <laughs> and damn, I'm trying to think. Is it basketball? I should, I'm really trying to think of. The people I feel like there's some basketball stuff you probably not remembering. Well, I know the Heat went to four games, <clears> and I don't regret rooting against them. Um, the Lakers and the do you Pistons. think? I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Do you think you will regret rooting for them, rooting, rooting for against who? them? Against who? No, I'm I'm mature at this point. No, hmm. no, Dirk. I, think, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, root. not Dirk. I know and you the like Thunder. Dirk. Hell no. Not hell the no. Thunder, but the some Spurs. Spurs years. Nah. I, I nah. I'm gonna give you ten years before you change your mind on that. Nah, I, I really. Because LeBron wouldn't. is gonna retire, and you're gonna go. You know what, man? If he could have just got both of them joints against, he the Spurs. shouldn't have gotten either. <laughs> wow. yeah, but anyway, he not he didn't shut them niggas down. Game seven, he shouldn't have got you. No. <laughs> uh, he ain't shut them That's down. Game seven. Who showed up? Is who, what and I who said. didn't show up? Um. Oh wait. Um. I'm trying to think. Iverson. No, I rooted for Iverson against the Lakers. I rooted for Kid against the Lakers. Um. Yo, I don't know. I don't know. You can't one. pick a third. Let me help you because I feel like. Oh, you're you going to say, oh, the Knicks versus the. the you Jordan. should say that. No. I wasn't going to th- say that. There'd but. be no difference. <laughs> there'd be no difference in that. You don't know that. No. Like I told you, Jordan was like an act of God when it came to sports. If you lost to Jordan, that's not a loss. It was supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. But there's other things, man. I'm trying to think. I feel like you're not you know thinking what? Hard you know, enough. let me tell you one, actually. That like low key. No, oh boy, uh, here we go. Confessions. I think you kind of know this one. I don't. I'm about to play the Usher. The, the Broncos versus the Panthers. You rooted for the Broncos? I wanted the Broncos to win. Wait, you low key wanted the Broncos to win? I didn't have a dog in that fight. Uh huh. But I wanted to see Eli get one. Peyton. Whoa, Peyton. Same thing. No. Oh, I so when you were, oh when you were watching, you were like, oh, I want like I, I didn't I didn't there was no one out but like I was like whoever wins this great yeah yeah, yeah. I remember but you said it was like a win win I was edging to like I was happy that Peyton won it would mean a lot if Cam like it would just be dope to see that he won an MVP that year he went he lost one game and then like you know they ate him when he got pissed off and you know and and threw the little fit or whatever. like. If he would have won that, that would have been really dope to see. I I think I'd put that up there. You know, I said championship games. I should have just asked you five playoff games. Oh, well, then a lot of them would probably be like Knicks and Bulls. Yeah, but even I'm not I'm not going to tell you to go back that far because we didn't watch basketball like that. Like we didn't watch Give me your f- championship three. Huh? Give me your three. Oh, okay. Three championships. The Spurs and, and the Heat. Uh, I was I was in the same. You know, I I want to say that, but then it's like Tim Duncan got five rings. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the only thing that six. stops me. Well, that I'm not. I don't care. Um, because I want you know. I guess I guess. But before I go there, there's other things. Hmm. 
I was thinking about the Seahawks and the Patriots. I was like you. I didn't care who won that joint because I wanted to see Tom Brady. <laughs> uh, I wanted to see him make history and get that fourth ring and tie Joe Montana. And I, I'm a big Russell Wilson fan. So if Russell Wilson won, I was like, hey, Russell Wilson won. But I don't, like, I can't say, like, yo, I was like, you know, it, it was like I was excited when anything happened. But I think I was kind of edging a little bit more for the Patriots because I was like, hey, Tom Brady. I mean, I, you know, Russell Wilson got time. He's young. Tom Brady's getting old. He's probably not going to be playing long. And look at how that's going. Um, but I don't need, you know, I'm trying to think if I would take that. I don't even know if I would take none of this you know stuff why it's hard for me to, you know why it's hard for me to take it back because i mean you know why it's not hard for me to take it back um it's the way they lost see if the seahawks just lost because tom brady came in put the work in and they lost or the defense put the work that's in. what i'm saying all, all of that but the fact that like the seahawks Pete Carroll gave that, that, game. that crazy catch off the leg and then they get to the one yard and then lose that's what makes me feel bad for the Seahawks. Not if they would have just lost. If they would have just lost, I would have like, been fine. Um, I'm trying to think, though, of like of champ of championship games that I've like rooted for somebody and then been like, man, I should. It's, it's real hard for me. You know why it's real hard for me to take? I have playoff games that I think I could name. I was okay. going to say the Celtics, but I like Paul Pierce. Like, I know you don't like Celtics him. against who? Lakers. That's a play. That's a championship game. Yeah, no, I was gonna say that, but I like Paul Pierce, so I'm saying I don't know if I would take that back. Oh, because you said I'm gonna go to playoffs instead of finals. No, no, no. I know. I'm saying I should probably go there. Oh. Um, I'm gonna give you a playoff game right off the top that I I kind of regret is um rooting against. Oh, here we go. I got it. Rooting for the Ravens against Kaepernick. Oh yeah, yeah. I regret that. I regret that because I didn't know hundred uh, percent. I didn't know Kaepernick <laughs> was gonna be the greatest quarterback of all time. I regret doing that one hundred. Yeah, now I mean, as an athlete, Kaepernick is one of the greatest because he's he's on another level with, with his activism and stuff. Like as a human, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I agree. I with you said as an athlete, I was like, nah, he's not. No, athletic. I'm just saying he's yeah. one of the greatest athletes just because he puts himself out there. Absolutely. And does, um, but yeah, that's that's the one. I think that's number one. I don't think there's anything I regret more than that. I rooted for Joe Flacco. Like, yeah. <laughs> yo, He's, like, yo, he, yeah, ew, whatever. why? Whatever. Why did I do that? You know, and and I'm not even going to lie. I rooted, I was rooting, I couldn't stand Colin Kaepernick, yo. I, like, when I tell you, I couldn't stand him. Like, and that, and I'm a big, like, Cam Newton's my favorite NFL player. Well, I also and, want the Ray Lewis to win. Yeah, but and that's something I regret. Yeah, because I don't Ray give a Lewis. damn about Ray. I'm so like now when yeah, I look at like it his now. Last year, I get and, it. And I, if I could go back, I'd be like, nah. I would take that back. Especially you take like who Kaepernick is as a human and Yo. look at how Ray. Anyway, whatever. But I regret that. I regret. I'm trying to think about basketball. Kaepernick is for the people. He is. I don't. Ray Lewis it, isn't. Yeah. I, in basketball, I pretty much, yeah, I probably get one of them heat losses because you know, Dirk is my favorite player, so I don't regret that. But I'd have to say, like, nope, rooting against LeBron, um, against the Spurs, I take that back. That's what you were getting at. No, no, wait, which Spurs? On the Heat? No, I'm talking about when he was on the Cavs. I rooted against the, I rooted oh, for the Spurs. The, oh, oh, no, I rooted for LeBron. Yeah, I rooted for the Spurs when he played them in 07. I would take that back because, man, can you imagine if LeBron would have I, I know he wouldn't. Like, it's not even close. If LeBron would have won that championship, his legacy right now would be a whole lot different. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It. W- I mean, like, but it, it's such a tall tie. It wasn't gonna happen. Nah, of course. Like not. it. W- you thought last year? You thought this past year wasn't gonna happen? That. Nah, yeah. That hell wasn't, no, that wasn't gonna happen. Even though he, he got swept pretty much on both. Yeah, but that other there one was, was a real no sweep. Yeah, that. W- I mean, he ain't had no one even. I don't even know if the dudes on that team play anymore. I think the coach was playing. Uh, <laughs> um, that's one game I regret. So two games. It's the Super Bowl. 
uh, with Kaepernick against the Ravens. It's LeBron. It's LeBron in 07. And it's funny. I was thinking about back when I rooted for this. I was, I was, I'm a big Tim Duncan fan, and I, I used to root for the Spurs all the time. I'd have to say when I rooted, maybe if I have to pick a third, I'd have to say when I rooted for. Man, it's hard because you know when you see greatness kind of happen. You know when you see greatness happen. And you see, like, what someone's legacy is, except for the Warriors. I, I don't want none of them niggas to succeed. But when you see, like, better, <laughs> when you see, like, certain legacies happen, it's like, you like, I respect it. Like, even if you don't like, I know you don't like the Spurs, but I know, I'm sure that when you, like, go to Tim Duncan's Wikipedia, then you see, like, five time champion, like, two or two time finals MVP, whatever, however many he got. Four. He's a four times finals three, MVP. Three, three. Oh, okay, three times five. Like I'm sure when you see that, you're like, man, that man was great. Like I admire that. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't do that with anybody on the Warriors. But like, I was gonna say I probably would have rooted for the Pistons. Like today, I guess the Spurs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Today, if the was, Pistons made the final, I probably root for the Pistons. I was rooting for the Pistons. Bro. I was rooting for the Spurs. Like man, I was a real big. I mean, I'm always a Knicks fan. Let's get that straight. I'm a Knicks fan no matter what. I don't care who's playing. I don't care if Dirk and LeBron and Carmelo join forces and played against the Knicks. I'm a Knicks fan till I die. But, you know, when it... Uh, I think I would have rooted, you know... Uh, I think I would have rooted for, for the Pistons today. Like, if somehow that could happen, like the Pistons playing against the Spurs today... But I was a real Western Conference guy. Mm-hmm. I liked the Lakers when Kobe and Shaq were there. I used to like the Spurs. I, I mean, I still like them. I like the Spurs. I like the Clippers. You know, on the East, you know, now I've sort of recently become more of a LeBron James fan, but it was just the Knicks. It was the Knicks and the Nets when they were relevant. And aside from that, I ain't give a damn about the West. I'm mean, about the East. Like them teams are just boring to me. They still are. They kind of are. They getting a little interesting though. It's a, I mean, it's you like, know, with Kyrie. Like two and a half teams. It's two and a half teams that make it interesting. Literally. So Celtics, Everybody went West. Celtics, Cavs, <laughs> and then there's that's it. The Wizards, really. and then there's the Raptors. I after hate the that. Wizards. I hate how boring that team looks. They're so good though. They dry. They are dr- yo. They're such a. Oh, can you imagine the Wizards in the finals? The best is in the West though. The if the Wizards went to the finals. Oh my God. They'd lose. If the Wizards went to the finals, I just might have to root for the Warriors just on principle. Uh, nah. Just you on ain't principle. Doing that. Then y'all don't even deserve to be there. Y'all too boring to be there. That's like you know what that's like. <laughs> it's too boring. <laughs> that, that's nah, nah. Issue. That's like the Aaron. That's like if the. Can you imagine if like. I'm tr- I'm I'm really trying. Can you imagine like if the Lakers, like if the Showtime Lakers went to the finals, and had to play against like the Charlotte Hornets. Y'all deserve to lose. Y'all boring. Like, y'all, they, they ain't no reason y'all should even, why y'all here for? Or like if the Knicks played the Spurs, right? Nah, that happened. Oh, yeah, it did. But the Spurs are not boring. I'm not talking about the Wait, Spurs. Wait, what you mean? I'm talking about the facts that the Knicks were damn near irrelevant compared to what the Spurs were. Wait, and you talking about 99? What other year? In 99, you're saying the Knicks were irrelevant? They were the eighth seed. Yes, nigga. Aaron, irrelevant. That's not irrelevant. The war, the Wizards are what? The fourth seed? Aaron. Third if, seed this year? The, but the third and the fourth are always the boring seeds. No one cares about the like middle the teams. Seeds. Just, can I ask you a question? Aaron, the quick. eighth seed. Who was the, the eighth? Who was the eighth seed in the West this year? This year? I'll let you think about it. I don't know. I know you don't know. But that's not my point. No one cares. Aaron, the eight. It was the Blazers. Okay. If the Blazers went to the finals, they are no longer born. They're no longer irrelevant. 
Aaron, then first off, the Knicks are not the Blazers because New it's New York versus Portland. I don't even know anything in Port. I'm be honest with you, Portland, off the top, yeah. where's Portland in Oregon? Yeah, good. Okay, yeah, that is good because you know I don't know this stuff, but <laughs> um, but the um the tr- we told Aaron the Knicks are New York. They were the eighth seed and went to the finals. They beat the Heat to go to the finals. That's not that that is extraordinary. That's not just that's not some little thing that just happened. That the the technically speaking of the eight top the top eight teams, the eighth best team went to the finals. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's they also the Warriors were like that before. You know that. You remember that, right? When the Warriors were eighth seed and they beat the Mavericks. <laughs> who were the who were the first seed? <laughs> How wait, what year was this? This was the year that Dirk won MVP. Wow, they beat the Mavericks in the playoffs. The Dirk killers. Man. Stop. Nah, Katie's nah. the Dirk killer. None of them are. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? That said, none of them are. No, no, no. What did I say? Curry was, and I showed you that thing. You said the DK or something like that. Dirk killer, right? Oh yeah. wait, no wait. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh huh. Who's the real dirt killer? KD. Flip it. No, get Yo, it. that is crazy. Nah. <laughs> so corny. Yeah. Yo, KD is the DK. Nah. He is the dirt. Anyway, moving on. Nah. What you got? You want to um, talk about the McGregor? Yeah. Go ahead. So, I told y'all what was gonna happen. I'm sorry, I got to take this time to rub it into everybody who's trying to trash talk and now who's trying to flip sides and trying to be modest and trying to say, oh, well, no, not really. Are you, you know, I predicted he was going to lose. Is that your phone on you? Go ahead. Oh, you, I don't, you hear that? That was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, know, all, all the, you know, all these people who are pretty much saying, like, you know, McGregor, uh, you know that. Listen, I, I, I said this from the start. I said this ain't UFC. This is boxing. Um, it, it, it's not the same sport. It's not the same art form. You can't just jump into a sport like this. And everyone's like, oh, well, you know, Mayweather's old. And, you know, he, he's getting to that point where it's like, oh, you, you know, listen, he's 41. He fought he's 40 two, or whatever he is. He's 40. He fought two years ago. This man still trains. He's not some, it's not like he's been not fighting for like six, seven years. If that was the case, and and still, maybe McGregor will have a shot. Maybe. This is a guy who didn't, who fought not that long ago. And you guys are talking about, well, he has, he's the best in the UFC. He has that brute strength and he's young. And mm-hmm. McGregor, I, I don't care about that. You can't just jump into somebody's sport. I'm There are NFL players who play basketball and who are probably good at basketball and better than the average Joe at basketball. You can't throw them in the NBA and think that they're going to do something. It's just not going to happen. Who's a, who's a, all right, Kobe, right? Kobe's 39, you said? Uh Uh-huh. And he retired last year. Uh Uh-huh. All right. If hot sauce, (laughs) you see where I'm going with this? I see. If hot sauce or who, who's the white boy, the professor, uh huh. Or this is another one that's really famous. There's anyway. a lot of them. Ray for Austin, if you want to go there. Yeah, but he was like he he was. He legit. did both. Yeah, he was legit. Uh huh. If hot sauce, so- even him. But if hot sauce or the professor wanted to play Kobe at this age, they'd get destroyed. They get destroyed, and you know what? They might. They and and and, and it's that's a perfect example because you know don't what? Have to train either. He don't have to train. And that's a perfect example because you know what might happen in that game? They might cross that nigga. They might they yeah. might make Kobe <laughs> look stupid here and there. Like they legit might get him to <laughs> I actually don't think they'll Nah, do nah. Nah, they wouldn't. You kind of sleeping on them dudes nah, handles. Nah. No, no, no. Them dudes handles look they good live against us. Nah, 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 and nah. Dudes nah. And dudes in the park. And dudes in the park. No. Them handles Dumb, ain't nah. flying with no NBA nah, niggas. Nah, nah. Who I'm got a, instincts like they, they they can see there where the ball n- is going. I'm sorry. The I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. 
Kobe will beat them. I'm not arguing that. Kobe's I don't think winning. Kobe's ain't cross. There's going to be a point where they're going to get Kobe. I don't know. Nope. Nobody in the NBA, nope. nobody, with the exception of Kyrie and Steph Curry, have ha- and and this is the, if there's anything I'm gonna ever give a <laughs> and one basketball player, it is this, and, and maybe like a Jason Williams in terms of his passing ability. Nobody in the NBA got handles like them dudes. But them a lot dudes, of them dudes, they do things that aren't legal. Yeah, but you. T- I'm not carry. talking about. I'm not talking about like rolling the ball on the floor and picking it up with ball. I'm not talking about that ridiculousness. I'm talking about just crossovers. At some point, one of them dudes could get them. I'm not saying they're gonna cross them up the whole game, but there's gonna be a <laughs> point them. they they'll get them. They ain't getting. Him. You, he's a them human dudes, being. The same way them McGregor dudes are master. Like yo, if, when you see Iverson or Kyrie ma- uh-huh. or Curry crossing dudes up, mm-hmm. they're doing that in a professional level they're, way of doing. Mm-hmm. If you take it to the streets where they can do things that sometimes don't get called, like carry the ball. Or where there's no consequence in being fancy, because if you be fancy, you can lose the ball, right? Uh huh. If there's nothing to like, there's no sacrifice in that. There's nothing to lose. Look at what Kyrie could really do. There, he could do what they can do. But they're good. They're great at team ball. Of course, they practice isolation and one on. I'm not. I'm not taking that away from you. All I'm saying is these dudes legit only practice crossing niggas up. That that's what they pretty much do. But so, they cross niggas yeah. up all day long. These guys can play, and they, I mean, they they're professionals, and they they do have those instincts. I'm not saying Hot Sauce is gonna break his ankles, make him fall, or Ooh. cross him up the whole game. I'm saying at some point, if they playing twenty ones by one, at some point. He might get him with a crossover. Can I ask you a question? He might not score this, after that. This is a weird analogy. You know Shaft? Okay, yeah. Okay. Who will win in a gunfight? Oh Shaft God. or James Bond? What are you talking about? Answer the question. James Bond is a trained killer. He is. Shaft he ain't nothing, be- Aaron, but Shaft is just a nigga. <laughs> 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 I don't know why you even brought up Shaft. <laughs> Shaft ain't. My ain't point no is that. Nah. 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 Case nah. Case Shaft is Shaft. not. Nah. You shoot <laughs> niggas in the hood. Nah. Any, he can't nah. shoot dudes. Anybody can off be a Shaft. Building. <laughs> no. And no, we, not no. anybody could be yes, an one Yes, ba- they can. And you yes, could be can. an one ball player? I, th- I and, think. It, no, no, no. And, Nah, you know what? I'm not even trying handle. to do. It's and just hand coordination. I I hear you. You talking but about? But this is what I'm saying. Kobe, this so, so much anybody training. could do what N one does. Just <laughs> do you know this fat dudes in N one? Have you ever seen I, I, fat I, dudes in N one? Who be like, oh, they be crossing niggas. Because it. it's not that yeah, impressive. But, but everyone can you does run up that. and down a court like? But, a machine. I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm saying, how, yeah, but again, we're talking one. We're talking about one on one basketball. That's all these dudes do. I mean, no, that's not true. They nec- they play full court bat. <laughs> I'm mad you brought up Shaft. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, Pops don't have a <laughs> nah, arrest. Nah, Eric Shaft yeah. is just an, a dude, <laughs> bro. That's a nigga. Yo, Shaft literally just ro- is just a cop. Like he's any cop who has a leather jacket <laughs> and be smashing exactly. chicks. Exactly. That's not what exactly. Nah, that is and Aaron, one. They just. And, yeah, then they smash chicks. You know how many chicks NBA players could pull? I'm not. You talking about the girls? I'm not talking. I'm talking anything, about. Anything, but it's a anything you can do, I can do way better because I'm trained. Oh, I hear what you're saying. They don't play professional bat. I'm. I'm not saying they're gonna win the game. <laughs> I'm not saying that. They Aaron, in them four, in them first four rounds of tonight's fight. Was McGregor catching this nigga? He caught him on a couple jabs. And jabs. He caught him on some jabs. He caught him with some little hard. I, don't get me wrong. The, the crowd was no gassing hook. that. I didn't see no hook. The, the, the crowd was gassing that heavy. Every time he did anything, they were trying to give him. did you see him. any power punches landed? I'm not going to say like a haymaker. To the face. I'm not talking about the body. I'm talking about to the face. He he didn't. I, nah, I saw nah. clean jabs. I didn't see him get him in the face with a with a, with a a right hooker. But he was hitting him in the body. And in the beginning, 
It was like I I I mean we all know what his strategy was. He you know or his game plan. Out. He does the yeah. game plan. <laughs> You know, and he was just getting him tired, and it worked. It's it's, be- it's a beautiful thing to watch. But what I'm saying is, I don't care what your game plan was. He caught him a few times, and that's all I'm saying. But it don't matter that he caught him a few times because you, at the end of the day, it was a TKO. And at the end of the day, if Kobe Bryant or right, uh, if Kobe Bryant right now plays whoever one on one, he might get caught at some point. I'm not saying he's going to fall. I'm not saying he's going to he's going to spin around. I'm not saying You know what that. I think the court is? The what, court that, Uh-huh. The court would be one of them dudes scoring. Nah. One of them dudes will throw I don't know a jump the, shot. They'll throw a jump shot shot up and they'll it'll, it'll, it'll go in. Nah, I think they'd have they a better I think they it. have a better a better chance crossing him. <laughs> Cuz you could cross him, but he's again, this is a professional ball player. He's not going to spin around. And you just about to run past him and make a layup. <laughs> that, that's sure. not gonna happen. The most you're gonna get him, the most it will. I think it will be like what Iverson did to Jordan. You get him, you make him go one way, you go the other way. And they're human. Let's let's call it what it is. These dudes are human <laughs> beings. At the end of the day, they shaft. I, they, nah, they don't have handles like me. I can't catch no NBA player. You you could get Amon Shumper, and Amon Shumper is trash, but <laughs> I can't even catch. I don't think I could catch him on Shumper. An no and one think. ball player. No, no, no. I know I one ball player would catch him on Shumper. Yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait. We're talking about an all defensive first and about, second team. We're talking about a top off of skill, top five player of all time. We're talking about a dude who is older, who is slower, who is bigger. He's slower than Hot Sauce right now. Yeah, all right, but the we using hot, uh, but yeah, but both of them professor are relatively like 30. old now. Professor, I think, is like 30, 31. That's younger than 39. Well, yeah, well, they definitely younger than Kobe. We know that. Well, definitely, the professor is definitely younger than Kobe because he was kind of like a kid when yeah. we were watching him. He could catch him. <laughs> anyway. Do you know what it means anyway, to get so caught? Anyway, so we're talking, yes, I do. So we're talking that about just me that literally means you get someone to go one way. You, you're making it seem like we're talking about like. Someone like completely losing awareness. I'm not saying he's gonna lose awareness. It's not that hard to catch someone when that's that's literally all he practices. That against, I mean, that's not against, all, but you know against what I mean. Novice niggas. I don't care who he's novice. practicing against. He don't practice against no professional niggas who play real defense. He can. The professor can do all that against me. He of well, of course he can't. But it's like them, like when you know when we're talking, we're talking. This all kind of relates to McGregor, but them dudes that hit trick shots, like them do perfect guys, they could they could throw a ball <coughs> off a bridge, you know, into a, a moving speedboat, and that that's great, like that that's cool. That don't mean they shoot better than Steph Curry, but am I gonna give them? Am I gonna give them the benefit of the doubt if they're gonna? Play against Steph Curry and make it some kind of crazy shot. I'm gonna give them that. I'm so, not gonna say they're gonna beat. They're gonna lose. So go they're gonna to catch McGregor. crazy L's, but they they can hit a crazy shot because that's all they practice. So a three point shot ain't nothing for them. Yeah, but when you practicing that against <laughs> nothing challenging you, which is what like hot yeah, sauce saying. Hot nothing. sauce is you're saying that like me playing, playing against hot. So- no, but me playing against hot sauce ain't. Hot sauce playing against Kobe, but hot sauce, you ain't playing. Hot sauce ain't playing guys like you or me. They playing guys that are way. Aaron, nah, I don't. They a little better, Aaron. So you saying hot sauce ain't playing niggas? You who get are me, you, and three players that you really trust, and we go into an and one league, and we get cleaned out. Yeah. Because they're way better than us, and they clean all the niggas that they play out because them niggas play like us. Say again? They clean all the niggas that they play up because uh-huh. them niggas play like us. Them niggas play like us or a little better. They don't play Wait, college. Wait, the guys Yo, that they play play like us. Or a little better. If and you they take, play way better. Out, if, you play, if you take college ball players, mm-hmm. put college ball players against A1. The man, A1 niggas will get mopped up. They might. I'm, I'm sure they will. Take UCLA and all the white players they had in Lonzo Ball. Uh-huh. They clean them niggas up. 
I'm I'm not down in that. You don't know why? Cause they are only and then we're talking about Kobe. Yeah, but you're still to Aaron. This is what I'm saying. Just because a player ain't in college or in the NBA, don't mean they're not nice or that they're not great. Nah, they're nice, but you're saying that these guys that they beat are playing like us. I I, I they, listen. Nah, I have better. all the self confidence in the world. They are way better than me. Way better. I would never dare I've step seen, into an A one league I've and seen, think I'm a win. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I've seen some some like them A one clips, and I'm like, it is just horrible defense. Yeah, because it, <laughs> it it becomes can, a show. They just it's like yeah, one guy, and then it looks like it looks so. It looks to the point where it's like fake. Like, like it did, does. Did, did it looks like a globe like, trying to think. Yeah, God. Yeah. <laughs> it does, no, I agree with you. Um, but yeah, like you were saying, you were trying to get back to the to the fight. Um, yeah, listen, guys. Um, he didn't stand a chance. Uh, I did predict a, a ten round TKO, and I was surprisingly right with that. Um, if if you want me to be honest, uh, you know, I've gone on record saying none of these guys, uh, personality wise, I don't really, you know, I'm not fans of any of them. Um, but I really can't stand McGregor. Him and his racist. You know, his racist antics. He strikes me as that kind. Of, he's always struck me as that kind of person. Uh, you know, him at the press conference talking to, you know, talking about he's black from the waist down. All the, all of that nonsense, it just, it makes me even, it makes me dislike him even more. Um, The fact that he thinks he could just roll up in a boxing ring and just beat the best fighter. You think he The best that, defensive though? fighter. You think he thought that? Oh, well, no. No, yeah. but I'm saying the fact that he... Like when I say he, he got throw, paid. He, the fact that he just can roll up in a boxing ring and do whatever, you know, and do whatever he wanted to do is just it. It just annoyed me. Like and and that's why I really like. And Floyd has his share of issues, his domestic violence stuff. I don't like. And more than that, he's, he's just a really really cocky and arrogant person who I feel like and ignorant should, and ignorant. And he should help out the black community. I mean, I don't even know if he does or doesn't, but. His wealth and 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 his influence would have such a positive effect on the black community, and he doesn't really do anything for them. And you know, I, I like I said, I don't like either of them. But if you're gonna ha- if you're gonna make me root for one, I'm rooting for the black guy. <laughs> like I I just am. You know, I am. I'm not rooting for McGregor. I I don't like him. I don't like how people gas him up. I don't like how people are trying to take back what they said. It was the thing where, oh, you know, he's young. He has the power. He could stand a chance. If he just catches him with that one hit, you know, it's over. And now he loses. And it's, well, they should have let him fight. And, and you know, it's it's just the thing where, you know, he gave it his all. And you got to respect him. You got to respect this hustle. Nah, man. We don't do that for any other boxer that loses. When a boxer loses, they just lost. Except Jeff Horn. Oh, well, that rape crap. I ain't talking about that. (laughs) That's another. That's flagrant. I can't wait till they rematch that and Pacquiao mops him up. Yeah, me either. But we don't do that. We don't give him no brownie point. Well, he tried. He did what he could. Get What? Ain't nobody giving giving Bo Jackson points for playing football and baseball and brownie points. When he lost in whatever sport, he lost in whatever sport. Same thing. All of them, yeah. (laughs) And same thing with Deion saying, yeah, like, come on. We ain't ain't doing that. We can just... We, I could, you could respect the fact that he got into the. I, I respect that. That's a bold move to get into the ring with a professional boxer. I could respect that, but not when you're talking all this trash about you about to beat him and and all your fans are talking about yeah, well he got the power, so let's not act like it's gonna be a cakewalk. That's exactly what it was, a cakewalk. Congrats to Mayweather. Yeah, I, I echo that. You know the funny thing about Conor McGregor. And mm-hmm. like while watching um, those press conference and there's things he said I didn't like, you know, very vulgar things too. But the one thing I noticed about him, I was like, this dude is entertaining. You might not like him, but he's inter. That dude is entertaining. Like, That's how my coworker described. Him. He said, "I can't wait till he gets into WWE." <laughs> nah, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see him. Because the, the whole press conference, that's just a show. But I don't want it to be where the fighting is. Like, fighting as a show is, is ridiculous to me. <laughs> but um, I don't, he's one of those dudes you don't like. 
but he's entertaining. Like, I kind of discovered that with Mayweather. I remember when I was watching Mayweather, and I used to just watch. Remember when I used to show you the videos of him? Yeah. And Oscar De La Ho- And you just can't get enough of it. Like, this is a... It's annoying. The person is annoying, but you're like, wow, I got to watch more of this. It's like cake. I hear. I hear. Like, if you watch him, you're like, wow, this guy's annoying. But I want to see what else he has to say. Conor McGregor's weird like that. He's one of those dudes... You don't like him, but you just want to watch him and watch what he says. Like you mm. want to hear him talk. I hear you. It's weird. I I I I feel you. I just I don't like. <laughs> you know, I I really don't like. I I get what you're saying. The, like afterwards, the interviews, I kind of felt that way a little bit. But even like during the show, like the press conference, the the face offs or whatever they had when they yeah. went on a tour, you just want to see what he said. Like. He's entertaining. Like he dresses up in these suits that that, that you know yeah. cursing all over. Like he's very outlandish. Some of the things again, like there's some things where it's like ah, I'm not feeling that or whatever. But like he's he's box office. You know he's all box right. office. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still mad. You compared. Shut <laughs> <Just> <laughs> compared. <laughs> Yo, I haven't gotten over that. I've been laughing low key. Shaft. You said who will win the gunfight, Shaft or James Bond? <laughs> yeah. But you know Shaft is just some regular nigga. <laughs> My so point cut. exactly. That's Those ain't Shaft. one dude. Nah, nah. They regular Shaft. niggas who know how to Shaft. dribble. Shaft. Yo, nah. Shaft, Shaft has might not no pop. Sp- no, 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 no. He might not pop James Aaron, do Bond. A- do Ant a- War players have a special skill? <laughs> yeah, they can dribble. Yeah, Shaft, they got no special yes, skill, he does. niggas. No, he, he don't. Knows the hood. Aaron, no, Shaft Put James got Bond in the hood. Aaron Shaft got no special skills. Shaft, <laughs> yeah. Shaft just rolls around in like a Cadillac chill. Yo, Shaft does nothing, and you really compare these things to Shaft? Because they, they are Shaft. They not Shaft. Yes, yo. yes, they nah, do. They, they're wild. Shaft. They're Shaft. And- oh my god. <laughs> Yo, you said, said Shaft and James Bond. Yo. Word, yo. Yo, nah. You got to give a better now. That was a perfect Nah, now. you know what a better... A better analogy would have been like... I can't even... I can't even think... Well, I'm not ready for this right now, but... It'd be like Starsky from Starsky and Hutch versus Jason Bourne. That's different. That's the same thing. They're both regular niggas. One nah. is a cop. <laughs> nah, Starsky and Hutch are the... White James, they the white shaft. I mean, yes. Nah, and if you put but both they don't of them against no a James Bond. Or you gotta a... get someone with a special skill who ain't on. Jason Bourne is cleaning everybody out. Period. Jason Bourne is cl- if if Jason Bourne and James Bond go hand in hand, Jason Bourne is cleaning out James Bond. Yeah. So you gotta guess, but I'm I'm still not giving an N one nigga Jace, uh, James Bond. I'm not giving. I'm no, not, they're not James Bond. No, I'm they're, saying they're I will shaft. give NBA players are like Jason Bourne. I'm giving them Jason Bourne. Okay. Even though like James Bond is the way more credible guy. Again, I was but, talking about a shootout. I was talking about hands. Hmm. Well then, I give. All right, James Bond's a better shooter than Jason Bourne. Absolutely. Okay, so all right, James Bond is the gold standard, and then they are Shaft. Nah, Shaft, Shaft can don't... pop niggas in the hood. Nah, you want? Did he not? And but he had as good a chance as any other city cop. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. and, Shaft was legit. Nah, so Shaft was That's a why legit they made a movie hood about shooter. Him. Do you no, know Aaron. his partners? Did they ever have movies about his You know his why, partners? Aaron? It's because no. he was black and handsome and got girls. That's the only reason they made a movie. Nobody gives a damn about... That Aaron, dude was a dope Who detective. strives to be Shaft because of his skill his set? His mad niggas who nah, grew up like, Aaron. I want to be a cop because Shaft. Because of Shaft? You don't think so? they so? could get girls, Aaron. It got nothing to do with his, his skill set? Shaft, his, his, <laughs> he, I bet he met his arresting quota. Aaron Starsky and Hutch could drive. That's what they're good at at driving. <laughs> the cop. Shaft ain't good at nothing. He Shaft, <laughs> Shaft gets coke dealers and cracked and busts them and pops uh, niggas Aaron, in the you, hood. You describing Yo. a regular city cop? <laughs> <laughs> you said he gets coke dealers and busts them. How many, what? How cop many cops? Busted, how many cops you know bust getting big? But Yo, the bust that Shaft gets. <laughs> nah, Aaron, you read, anyway. Aaron, this is the ultimate reach. Anyway. 
You said <laughs> say he busts cold deals. He does. Yo, is that a skill? That <laughs> yo, yo. And yo. anybody could bust a cold <laughs> no, deal. No, they hey, can. What are you talking about? No, they can. Eric Jace Bomb be shooting dudes on moving trains while he's on a motorcycle. Exactly. Shaft yo, is busting you... coke dealers. <laughs> 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 Busting coke dealers <laughs> selling coke on the corner. <laughs> like, what, nah. are t- <laughs> what are you talking nah, about? Nah. He, ain't, he ain't busting local. He gets to oh, the international. Man. He, he busting gets- the Pablos. <laughs> nah. Aaron, get out. He's busting regular niggas selling coke, Aaron. Nah. He's, nah. And, he, and he's pressuring them to snitch on their friends. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's his skill set. <laughs> nah, yeah, miss yeah, me. Skill set. You got to miss me with this shaft Yo, analogy. Look, look at what Kobe does in practice. Man. And then let them in one niggas do it. Those niggas will be dead. <laughs> he said shaft. Those niggas will be though. dead in 10 minutes. They're like, nah, I'm good. Yo, it's, remember that video I sent you with LeBron balancing on a ball? I, I remember shaking yeah. the thing. Let let one of them in one day. They'll be dead. <laughs> they will fall over you. Yeah. They would, because they don't know what it's like to shoot jumping out of a window <laughs> like James Bond does. Yo, this guy, man, chef. <laughs> Busting coke deals. <laughs> nah, he busts kingpins. <laughs> yeah, all right. Nobody even cares about it. So anyway. Exactly. Nah, exactly. Exactly. Care about exactly. Bleacher Report cares about N one ballers. They care about a lot of stuff. Yeah, when there's no news with the real niggas who play basketball. Yo, they don't post. Yo, Bleacher Report be posting whatever these days. They be posting anything. Yeah, but when it's a slow day, you'll find that one ball is on there. I find that kind of stuff all the time. Niggas getting dunked on. I see, yo, I see that. Yeah, but that's like high school or bat or college or something. I'm talking about and one nigga, and one. Yeah, but you're not even caught in exactly. Now you get into the but name of and it. And I'm talking about them, them and one like uh-huh. leagues, them Reebok, whatever. Yeah, nah, it's a slow day when they when they. The new. We about to, we about to wrap it up. Shout out to Mayweather though. Yeah. Shout out to 50 and 0. 50 and 0 history. Uh, y'all can miss me with Rocky Marciano talk. Yeah, and his son. His son was hating. I, no, I know. I peeped. Yeah, y'all can miss me with his that. His son was shook because he knows it was far, automatico. Far from the greatest. Uh, but, I, it's the lane. Me. Running Machine. And I want to thank you guys for listening to the Lean Me Podcast, Episode 5. I want to thank the genius Lucas for coming through. Appreciate you having me. I'm here every other week. Most definitely. Uh, if you had, I mean, if you if you're listening to this already, you found it some way. But it's on SoundCloud.com slash the Lean Mean Podcast again. SoundCloud.com slash the Lean Mean Podcast. Search me up. Um, I will include all of my links in in the uh, in the podcast description below, so you can find me on Instagram, YouTube, all of that. If you didn't know, I do have a YouTube channel. You should, I mean, you should know that by now. But it's youtubecom slash Runner Machine. I'm gonna also be uploading the podcast there because SoundCloud is on some other stuff. They try to make me go pro, so I can get more space and all that. Yeah. But um, I might do it. I just right now the funds ain't looking right, so I'm gonna upload them joints to YouTube. But um, you got anything you want to plug? Uh, <clears throat> uh, you can follow me at the Genius Lucas at the Genius Lucas on Instagram, on Twitter, um, YouTube. You could uh, yeah, that's all I got really. Oh, and also SoundCloud at the Genius Lucas. Uh, Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, and what? Well, getting the other one. Instagram. YouTube and YouTube. Uh, I do photography. You already know music, and we hit on podcast. Yeah. We want to thank you guys for listening. Till next time, we will see you guys later. Peace, love. We sending them positive vibes as always. I'm out. <laughs>